And today I'm going to be going over how to set up and apply master pages in Adobe InDesign. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Adobe InDesign and go to File New, Document, and letter size is fine for this example. So go ahead and click OK with the default settings. Then you'll see over on the right hand side a palette called Pages. If you don't have that, you can click it off over from the side right there, or just go to Window and then Pages and make sure that's checked. So by default we just have one page and if you add content on that page it'll show just on that page. So if you insert an image or some text it will only show up on page one obviously. The reason you want to use a master page is if you have content that you want to reflect on all the pages. So first thing you want to do to add content to a page uh, that's going to show up on every single page of the publication is to click or actually double click on pages up here the A master so I'll double click on that click the move tool over here and so I can move around and you can see that we have two master pages here if I press control minus you can zoom out zoom in like normal or command minus command plus on the Mac and uh, whatever we add to these two pages will reflect across the publication so I'll give you an example if I just add a circle here and go ahead I'm just gonna change the color some kinda blue here draw it out there and you'll notice it doesn't show up on page one that's because one is being counted as a right facing or a page on the right hand side there so I'm gonna click new create new page click that a couple times so now we have a five page document you notice that blue circle shows up on uh, all the left uh, side of every spread. All right, not on the right hand side, including the cover page. All right. Now, if I go ahead and double click on page two, you'll notice that this blue image is here, but I can't click it. I can't edit it. That's because in order to edit it, you need to go back to the master page. You can move it around there, resize it whatever and it'll be reflected across the uh, spread there now what if you wanted to remove it from just one of the pages well you can do that if you hold down control shift and click on the Mac it would be command shift and then click and then you can move that one instance around you can notice now on page four it's still there from the master page but on page two where we were it's actually editable now we can move it around so if you have content on a page uh, and you want it just to be moved on that one specific page you uh, can hold down control shift or command shift and click it to edit it all right i'm gonna go back to the master page and delete that circle there notice that on page two i actually have to go there and delete it because i was editing that specific instance all right, go ahead and double click on a master so we're on the master page and this is one use of this let's say on every page we wanted uh, a page number let's we'll go to the lower left hand corner click and drag a text box out and we have the blinking cursor there and what you want to do is uh, just go to type and then insert special character and then marker and then current page number there's a couple other things on here too next page number previous etc but we're just going to do insert special character marker current page number and that inserts little a. I'm going to make it larger so you can see it on here so we have an a here and you can change the font just like normal All right, and you can change the size different attributes of it until you have a size that you like okay now that's only on the left hand side now if you double click on page two you'll notice that the page number is two and then page four notice though on page three and page five we don't have that that's because we haven't applied it to the right hand side of the master pages spread up here so how do we do that well we could repeat those steps you could create a new text box and go to type insert special character marker current page number or a shortcut just choose the selection error up there 
and click onto this A right here. Notice this is not an A. You can't just type in an A. You do have to go to type insert special character current page number. Um, but you can actually duplicate it. All right. So just hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and click and drag and hold down Shift if you want to keep it perfectly aligned. And you can bring it over to the other side for a page number over there. Now when we go to page two, page three, they actually show up. And again, let's say on page two, a lot of magazines, you know, let's insert an image in here. A lot of magazines uh, don't have uh, page numbers on every single page, right? So let's say we had a magazine here. Make this a little bit smaller here. And let's say if it was something like this, um, and let's say we didn't want the page number on this page. All right. What you could do is again, Control Shift, click it, and then delete it. And this is just like a normal photo here. It's not on the master page, so it's only going to show up on this specific page, of course. All right. So if you go to File Place, let's choose a different one here. same idea if you wanted it uh, showing up across the board now I'm control shift click and drag the corner or command shift click and drag the corner we can resize it and maintain that proportion with the shift and you'll notice of course it's only showing up on page two because we're on page two right now All right, you can go to object arrange and send it back and that will put it behind that page number. But you'll notice maybe you don't like the way it looks on that page. Alright, because it was by default it was on top of it because we made it uh, after we had created the page numbers. So again, you would control shift click just that page number there, delete it, and then we don't have the page number on that page, but we do still have it on every other page. Alright. So a lot of magazines will not have page numbers on every single page, and that's how you get rid of that. One other thing to consider is you can actually have more than one master page spread. And you can actually add a, another set. So go ahead and right click up at the top above the A master spread. And you can go ahead and go to new master. And let's just call this footer or header. Let's say header. All right. And click OK. And you'll notice in A master we still have our page numbers, but in the B header we don't have anything. So let's say on certain pages we wanted, uh, kind of like in some photography magazines, they will have kind of a consistent section header up at the top. So say some text and then kind of a nice simple box background up at the top like that. All right. So if you notice though, it hasn't been applied to any of the pages in our actual document. So this B header here, what you need to do to apply this, let's say we just want it on pages two or three, and then you know 14, 15, a couple other ones, but for this example, just two and three. What you can do is you can right click over it, then go to apply master to pages, and then we'll type in two to three, and click OK. You will notice, page uh, B header is actually applied to pages two and three. It doesn't have the page numbers though anymore. So what you would need to do if you wanted it to also have the page numbers is make sure these are on B header as well. Or you could create a new one. Let's do new master and base it on a master. All right. When you base it on it, it keeps those original that original content in there. So let me go ahead and delete the B header master pages. Okay, so we don't see it on page two or three anymore. Okay, and on C header, let's go ahead and let's just say we wanted a simple header graphic up at the top, like so. I'm just alt clicking dragging around the 
Mac, you would option click and drag. We can duplicate those. And again, for C header, right click over it, apply master to pages. We'll do two to three. And we go to pages two and three. And now it has actually applied these graphics up at the top as well as the page numbers. That's because when we created a second set, we based it on the A master, so it includes all the content already created on the A master. So to review, master pages are a great way to add things like page numbers that will be automatically updated on every page, but you can specifically edit instances of the content that has been added to every single page by holding Control Shift or Command Shift on the Mac on those specific pages. You can also add a second set of master pages by right clicking over the original and then new master. If you want it to have all the original content from the A master though, just make sure when you go to new master, you base it on the master A. So then you can have a second set that you can selectively apply to various spreads as you please. Thank you.